We move on to uh, react to the 76ers dropping to 211. With the loss to um, Miami and then their supposed team meeting after the game. And uh, no, I say quote unquote, but they had a team meeting after the game. It's not a... It's not something in speculation. It's something that did happen, but there was some interesting, uh, interesting reports that came out of that meeting. And uh, look, the 76ers, they've been awful this season. They've been, you know, there's a team now that brought in Paul George before the season to partner up with NBA and, and, <coughs> and Tyrese Maxey. And the relative expectation for this team was them competing for at least in a, a spot in the NBA Finals. I now I, I never thought they were a legitimate team to reach the NBA Finals because the 76ers process has always been hard to get behind just with the simple fact that, uh, you know, Embiid's and his questionable health. And, well, usually we have to wait till the end of the season for the 76ers to pay that price. But we've already seen it so far. They're 2-11. and Embiid has missed... Uh, a majority of the beginning of the season came back recently, and since he's <coughs> <coughs> wow, this cough is bad. But since he's been back, he has been really, really not at the level that, that we expect of him. He looks very, very stagnant. He looks like he doesn't trust his body. The movements is wrong. He had a little bit of a of an acceleration to him that doesn't exist. The athleticism is not there. He moves a little bit on edge, if that makes sense. He doesn't play with the free-flowing nature that he does in the past, and you're seeing it major. By the way, Joel Embiid is a player who regularly gets to the free-throw line, and not only he gets to the free-throw line, he makes his free-throws. He is a, you know... When he's at his best, he is impossible to stop. He's getting 10, 15 free throws a game. He didn't shoot a single free throw against the Miami Heat. Not a single one. That says a story of how, what he is right now. Not only that, he is uh, he is averaging 14 points a game this season. 14.7 in the three games that he's played this season. That is 20 points less than the 34.7 points he averaged last season. You know, the, 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 the harsh reality is he's not fit. He's not 100%. And, and, and look, you know, the 76ers, they are in a little bit of a desperate position. That's why, you know, they, they put a mid out there as soon as he can. But... If Joel Embiid is going to continue to performing like this, you might as well. I mean, you're not going to win games with him performing like this, so you might as well let him fully off, get fully the time off, let him completely heal his injury so he's not having to play like, um, you know, you know, in a... Um, he's not having to play with the, um, with the injuries that he's playing with. You know what I mean? Because... If you can, if he's gonna be continuing to perform like this, why don't they just shut him out? You know, you don't get no benefit of play, playing Joel Embiid if you're playing, uh, if he's playing at this level. In fact, it can only be a detriment because it can only lead to, you know, future, uh, future re-injury of the injury. And um, and and if I'm a 76er, I'm you know, and I'm con and I'm seeing the way Embiid has been performing, and if I. If I don't believe that it'll get better relatively soon, I'm shutting him down. You're two and eleven, but I mean, are you gonna start? Are you you're telling me with the beat you playing the way he is playing in the last couple of games that he's gonna be the one that turns it around? No, he's just not he's not at that level yet. He, you know, so you might as well see him out. <coughs> the thing about the seventy sixes that gives you that you know that will give seventy sixes fans hope is. The East is pretty crap, you know. The only four teams have a winning record in the East after um, after this long to the season. That's uh, that's unbelievable. You compare that to the Western Conference, which has eleven teams with a winning record, compared to four of the Eastern in the Eastern Conference. 
So there's some life there if you are a 76ers fan, because it takes one run to get back into the mix of things. And you still have Tyrese Maxey, Paul George, and Embiid, you know, when they, you know, all fully healthy playing together. But um, it just seems like the same of story with 76ers. And, uh, and yeah, and then, you know, it was another second half collapse. They have had multiple now in the last couple of games. This time it came against the Miami Heat, in which they got outscored. Uh, they got outscored in the second half, 53 to um, 33. And, uh, and, and Philadelphia, they had a good lead in this one throughout the first uh first couple of quarters but Miami did a good job to you know limit the pleading in that second quarter to bring them back within the game and then they were able to take over and go on that run that they went on in the third quarter and it just seemed like it was the same story that happened in the 76ers earlier this week was going to happen again and and yeah and then now the interesting thing that came out of this game was the Supposed team meeting after the 70s, or not supposed, but the team meeting that happened after the 60s game where, I'll, you know, there was some open-hearted conversations. And I, what I love about this also about this team meeting was that sometimes players, you know, whenever situations like this happen, it tends to be players only. But the fact that the coaches were involved, that everybody was involved, I believe it was, it did better for the for the continuity of this organization, for the brotherhood amongst this team, um, the belief in the coaches, and you know, and there was no, there was no, uh, there was no tongues held. Um, we know the big report that Tyrese Maxey was a, able to challenge Joel Embiid over being tardy. Good for Tyrese Maxey, you know, just because Joel Embiid is the best player on the 76ers team doesn't mean he should be held to special responsibility, special, um, be given special. Um, circumstances of not following directions and and you know of Embiid is continuously being tardy that's just a precedent as the leader of the organization and that is not a part of the right culture like you know I don't like making cross-board comparisons but compare that to Tom Brady for the Patriots could you imagine Julian Endelman challenging oh I guess that's a bad example but yeah let's just use it could you imagine Julian Edelman challenging Tom Brady in terms of not putting in enough time on the f- football field, you know, not putting in enough practice. I mean, that'd be ridiculous, no? And I'm not saying this is not ridiculous. Obviously, uh, Tyrese Maxey is well in his right to do what he did, but it just proved that, you know, maybe uh, Joel Embiid is... Uh, look... Uh, I don't want to use a a disrespectful world, but maybe he's getting treated too much like a like a prince in the seventy six. Even though he hasn't won anything for them, we know the comments he had in terms of playing back to backs, and now this is unbelievable to me. The way some seventy sixers fans would defend him because well, he has provided nothing of value to this seventy sixers organization. You know, Allen Iverson, he was able to reach the finals. Joel Embiid hasn't reached the semifinals. He hasn't even really sniffed the semifinal, if you have to be honest, as well. And, uh... Actually, no, he did sniff the... Uh, when I say final, when I say semifinal, I mean the Eastern Conference Finals. Um, and actually, he did sniff the Eastern Conference Finals. They lost on a buzzer beater. Doink, doink, doink against the Kawhi-led Raptors. Which, by the way, is still to this day the, you know, the most, you know, impressive Sixers team and the team that went on the longest run in the whole Joel Embiid era on the 76ers. Mm. But, uh, <coughs> <coughs> but, yeah, absolutely. I'm very, um, I'm very interested to see how this team will turn it around. I, I don't know. It's a, it's a difficult one.